Every business needs energy to operate. However, in a world with ever fluctuating energy costs, extreme weather events, and increased demand from consumers for sustainability, businesses have a lot to keep track of. That's why many businesses and organizations are turning to solar to save money and to green their operations. If that sounds interesting to you, stick around. In today's video, I'll share the seven things you need to know before getting started on a commercial solar project. Hi, I'm Victoria, and welcome back to Going Solar with Pivot Energy, where we cover all things solar energy, commercial solar, financial incentives, and community solar. In a minute, I'll cover all of the things that you need to know before you get started on a commercial solar project. But first, it's important to understand why companies and organizations are racing to install solar energy on their facilities. The main drivers of demand for commercial solar are its financial, social, and environmental benefits. These benefits encompass everything from savings on your electricity bill, to reducing your corporate tax liability, to advancing your sustainability or ESG goals. While the green benefits of solar are driving much of the demand, the fact remains that solar is also a wise investment and continues to be one of the main choices for clean energy procurement. Additionally, with retail energy escalators far outpacing normal inflation in many areas of the country, more and more buyers are seeking to turn their utility expenses into an asset by going solar. To learn more about how you can save money with solar, check out our video, How to Save Money with Solar Energy, linked in the description below. Another Another mobilizer for commercial solar right now is something called the Federal Investment Tax Credit, or ITC for short. Since the American Reinvestment and Recovery Act of 2009, the ITC has been a major incentive for companies to install solar energy. The ITC was just extended at 30% for the next 10 years as part of the Inflation Reduction Act. We'll have an entire video cover the Inflation Reduction Act and extended ITC coming soon. And of course, another major driver of solar procurement is in response to the growing amount of calls from the business community to transition to cleaner business operations in alignment with public pledges and science-based carbon reduction commitments. Subsequently, there's also been increasing pressure for companies to adopt environmental, social, and governance measures, known as ESG for short. Sustainability is holding more weight to investors when assessing investment risk and ethics of a company. On top of that, modern consumers overwhelmingly want to support businesses that align with their own values. Give our video, Meet Your Company's ESG Goals with Solar, a watch to learn more. Also, make sure to like this video if you've learned something new so far. All right, if you're like most business owners considering commercial solar, you're probably wondering how to go about it and what you need to get started on your own solar journey. So let's dive into the seven things you should know before installing commercial solar. First things first, you'll need to assess your organization's general knowledge of commercial solar and buyer's journey. Do you fully understand your solar goals and what your organization wants to get out of the project? What's your expected timeline? Do you have the necessary budget and do you prefer to own the solar array or do you require third-party financing as to limit the capital you bring to a project? Asking yourself these basic questions is important in assessing your own knowledge and getting an internal pulse on your organization's familiarity with clean energy procurement. Remember, it's a journey. And if you are just at the starting line, you're in a good spot just by tuning into this video. Moving on to number two on our list. We recommend understanding and identifying your internal stakeholders in order to know who needs to be consulted when it comes to a solar project. It's crucial to getting a project off the ground. Decision makers that can move a solar project along may include your C-suite, procurement, sustainability, and facilities teams. These teams will be essential in articulating the strategy, approving vendors, allocating budget, and gathering historical energy usage information. Making sure everybody is on board and knowing who will be pulling the strings will help the project move forward smoothly. Your internal team won't necessarily know everything about solar financing, on-site versus off-site, solar programs, and what's feasible in the grand scheme of your project. But that's okay. A trusted solar developer like Pivot Energy can walk you through all of those options once you obtain internal buy-in. More on that later. Next up, educating yourself and understanding how other organizations in your industry or vertical have gone about procuring clean energy is the third helpful thing to know when starting your own project. There are thousands of communities and organizations currently determining their clean energy strategies, assessing on-site and off-site projects, and navigating the market mechanics 
that are willing to share their best practices. You'd be surprised. Even brands you would consider competitors in your space are often willing to share what they've learned. Businesses across the globe are facing similar challenges and are seeking to tackle bold goals such as carbon neutral operations or 100% powered by clean energy. Groups like Clean Energy Buyers Alliance, The Climate Pledge, or RE100 are excellent forums for such discussions. There are even industry-specific groups like the Sustainable Packaging Alliance, Retail Industry Leadership Association, or Outdoor Industry Association for like-minded organizations assessing their clean energy opportunities. Also, speaking with an expert in the field before you make the first phone call to a developer will prepare you to make the right decisions. Not to toot our own horn, but here at Pivot, we're solar pros, and you can also use our YouTube channel as one of your external resources for all things commercial solar. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss our future videos. The fourth thing you should have a grasp on is what qualities you're looking for in a solar developer. For example, if you have multiple locations nationally, you may want to select a solar developer that can develop systems across the country as opposed to a local outfit. Another important factor in choosing a reliable solar developer is considering if they align with your business's goals and values. Are they transparent in their pricing, process, and expectations? Do they understand your needs and goals? If you need help coordinating financing and post-installation maintenance, find out if they offer those services. Knowing what you typically look for in a successful partner is crucial when you're shopping for a great developer. Our team at Pivot prides ourselves on always leading with honesty, transparency, and professionalism in our solar partnerships. We're here for the long haul, and as such, we're here to support our partners throughout the whole lifetime of their solar system, which can be over 25 years. Okay, now on to number five. Once you've identified one or a couple of solar developers you're interested in working with, you'll need to share some utility data with them in order to receive a customized project proposal. One of the most common questions we get at Pivot is what will my commercial solar project cost? Which is why sharing data and assessing your site-specific conditions is so important. Solar developers cannot provide you an accurate estimate of the project cost until they receive and understand your historic energy usage, determine a necessary system size and design, and identify what utility-specific incentives or programs you may be eligible for. As you can gather, most of this starts with an exploration of your historic utility consumption. From there, we are able to determine the annual consumption of your property, the avoided cost or rate you pay for energy, demand charges, and more. This helps us understand how much solar energy is right for your building and the value such energy would have, thereby informing your return on investment. Your solar project should be tailored to your assets, goals, and unique business operations. So come to the table prepared with your business addresses, copies of your utility bills, and an understanding of your consumption habits. It's also a good idea to know about the utility currently servicing your business and the programs that are available in your market, such as net metering. Don't worry about all the specifics. The solar developer will walk you through the incentives and programs you can take advantage of in your local utility area. If you want to brush up on some terminology, watch our video, Net Metering 101, to learn more. The sixth thing to know before starting a solar project is identifying your ideal project structure and your risk profile. How many locations do you want to install on? Are you in a place to buy it outright? Do you need to secure a solar financing solution like a lease or a loan? Would a developer-owned solution like a power purchase agreement be better for you than an upfront cash purchase? These are all important questions to mull over. And if you're not sure of your options, this is where working with an experienced solar developer can help. Our team at Pivot can help you explore a multitude of options for a particular project, allowing you to make the most informed decision. The ideal project structure may also vary based on location. For example, a PPA may be preferred for a lease facility, whereas an owner-occupied location may opt to explore a cash purchase. Whether you choose to purchase your system or opt for a third-party owned asset, both scenarios have their pros and cons. There are certain things to consider when investing in solar energy, like tax liabilities, capital expenditures on facility improvements, and purchasing an asset that will last for 20 plus years. Before getting a project off the ground, you need to understand and identify your financial preferences. You also need to assess what a solar investment looks like in your financial portfolio long term. Check out our playlist Solar Financing 101 after this to learn more about the financial aspects of a solar project. 
And finally, for number seven, you should have a pretty good idea of what you want your involvement to look like after your project is installed. As your solar asset will operate for three decades, it's key to have a plan for the operations and maintenance of the system. Many developers offer an operations and maintenance package or will refer you to one of their partners. If you don't purchase an O&M package from the developer, you'll be responsible for keeping up the solar array after construction is complete. Even though solar panels are static state proven technology, they do require preventative checkups and routine maintenance by an electrician or a solar provider. In addition to preventative care, corrective care may be needed, such as when an inverter needs to be replaced, which is often required in years 11 to 13. Understanding your own facility team's aptitude and bandwidth for O&M is a good gut check for knowing if this is a scope of work you'd prefer to own or to outsource. Additionally, one helpful consideration is for third-party owned projects like PPAs. Under this structure, the asset owner, in this case Pivot Energy, covers all O&M needs for the duration of the contract. Now that you know the seven most important things to consider about commercial solar, you're probably wondering how and where to get started. At Pivot Energy, we're a turnkey solar developer that does everything for you. We help our commercial solar clients through every step in their projects, which includes planning, managing, financing, installation, upkeep, and more. When you sign a contract with us, you have the opportunity to choose something called a production guarantee. That means we'll guarantee a certain production standard that'll be insured across the length of our contracts via operations and maintenance. Pivot Energy is a trusted and reliable turnkey solar developer with over a decade of experience. We pride ourselves on being open, honest, and fully transparent. If you have any questions about the commercial solar process, leave a comment below and my team of solar experts and I will get right back to you. And for business inquiries, you can send me a message via my email listed in the description. For more info about working with us, head to pivotenergy.net or check out our video, What to Expect with Commercial Solar Developer, Pivot Energy. Remember, all of the videos I mentioned are linked in the description below. If this video helped prepare you to start your own commercial solar project, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss our videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.